Good morning students. Welcome back. This video is for class 8 subject English grammar and it is taken from the book PC Rents. This is our chapter number 1 and the name of the chapter is Determiners. This is my lecture number 3. As I have already explained the meaning, uses and kinds of determiners in lecture 1 and 2. So let's see again what is the meaning of determiners. A determiner is a word which comes before a noun. Here the meaning of noun is a name of a person, place, animal or thing. And limits the meaning of the noun or shows which person or thing is being referred. I repeat it again. A determiner is a word which comes before a noun and limits the meaning of the noun or shows which person or thing is being referred. For example, the bunny went home. Here, bunny is noun and the is determiner. That is why the is used before the word bunny. Let's see the next example. Many kittens are taught to hunt by their mothers. Here, kitten's word is noun and many is determiner. That is why many word is used before the word kitten. So, let's see how many kinds of determiners are there. Number 1, article. Number 2, demonstrative. Number 3, possessive. Number 4, numbers. Number 5, distributive. Number 6, quantifiers. I have already explained you four kinds of determiners in lecture 1 and 2. In this lecture, you will learn the meaning and uses of next two kinds of determiners that is numbers and distributives. Function of numbers determiners. Numbers are used before a noun. Noun means a name of a person, place, animal or thing. To count people or things or to put things in order or identify people or thing. They are used to tell an exact amount. I repeat it again. Numbers are used before a noun to count people or things, to put things in order or identify people or thing. They are used to tell an exact amount. Or we can say a word or symbol that indicates a quantity. A word or symbol that indicates a quantity or a group of numbers that is used to identify something or somebody. A group of numbers that is used to identify something or somebody is called numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 1000, 50, etc. Are the part of numbers. Numbers. It is further divided into two parts. Cardinals number and ordinals number. Cardinals number 
shoes quantity ordinance number shoes order 1 200 1000 etc are cardinals number first second third fourth are ordinal numbers cardinal numbers cardinal numbers are also known as counting numbers i repeated it again cardinal numbers are also known as counting numbers and are used to count nouns it tells us how many in quantity it is used with both singular and plural nouns for example we have two dogs here dog is noun and two is cardinal number and it is showing the quantity of a noun number second example there are 12 birds here birds is noun and 12 is cardinal number and it is showing the quantity of a noun ordinal numbers ordinal numbers are used to tell the order of a person or thing ordinal numbers are used to tell the order of a person or thing they tell us level or position in a group it means which one or we can say it shows order for example i am third in line here third word is ordinal number and it is showing position of a noun i number second example happy 50th birthday so let's see the another determiner that is distributive distributives are used to refer how people or things are divided or shared within a group or we can say that distributive determiners are words that give information about the noun in a sentence they may refer to a group or every individual in the group i repeat it again they may refer to a group or every individual in a group for example i take breakfast every morning next example they hate each other here each and every talk about the individual members or things of a group use of each each is used to refer to every individual member of a group as separate items means one at a time it is used with countable nouns i am repeating it again each is used to refer to every individual member of a group as separate items means one at a time it is used with countable nouns for example each house on the street has a different number second i gave each of the boys an apple so here each is used to refer to separate persons or things in a group of two or more use of every we use every to talk about things collectively as a group more than individually it is used before a noun it is used to refer to repeat regular events it is used with singular nouns i am repeating it again we use every to talk about things collectively as a group more than individually it is used before a noun 
it is used to refer to repeat regular events it is used with singular nouns for example they enjoyed every minute of their holidays so here every is used to repeat regular events or we can use every to refer all the people or things in a group of 3 or more use of all it means total we use it to talk about the total number of things or persons means for entire amount considered as a group and not individually it is used with plural nouns i am repeating it again it means total we use it to talk about the total number of things or persons considered as a group and not individually it is used with plural nouns for example all children need care number 2 all men are equal so here all refers to every member of the group collectively all me refer to the uncountable nouns or plural countable nouns use of either either refers to any one or the other of two things or people it is always considered single in a sentence or singular in a sentence it is used in positive sentences i am repeating it again either refers to any one or the other of two things or people it is always considered singular in a sentence it is used in positive sentences for example either of the two is guilty means here either is used to refer to a pair of person place or thing it is usually indicates that one of the two is involved or it is not involved use of neither neither is used in negative sentences it indicates zero out of group of two means not one or the other i am repeating it again neither is used in negative sentences it indicates zero out of group of two not one or the other for example neither team scored and the game was a draw and neither must be used before a singular noun or it can be also used with a plural noun use of both both is used when we are talking about two or more than two persons or things which are similar it is used with plural uncountable nouns i am repeating it again it is used when we are talking about two or more than two persons or things which are similar it is used with plural uncountable nouns for example both the brothers are intelligent so when two things or persons are similar to each other we use both use of half half is used to talk about a whole group divided into two equal parts it refers to measurement or to show quantity i am repeating it again half is used to talk about a whole group divided into two equal parts it refers to measurement or to show quantity for example i had half a cup of coffee left so here half determiner is showing the quantity which exactly divided into two equal parts predeterminers predeterminers are p 
placed before determiner in a sentence. They come before articles or determiners and give more information about the noun. That comes after the determiner. I am repeating it again. Predeterminers are placed before determiner in a sentence. They come before articles or determiners and give more information about the noun. That comes after the determiner. Such, what, rather, all are the part of predeterminers. For example, such a beautiful woman. Use of such. To show emphasis and is often used in an exclamation. I am repeating it again. It is used to show emphasis and is often used in an exclamation. Exclamation means to show strong feeling. For example, do not be such a fool. Use of what? What is used to express surprise or other emotions. I am repeating it again. What is used to express surprise or other emotions? For example, what a lovely day. Here, what is showing emotions? Use of rather and quiet. They both are commenting words, referring to the degree of a particular quality as expressed by the adjective that modifies the noun. I am repeating it again. They both are commenting words referring to the degree of a particular quality as expressed by the adjective that modifies the noun. For example, it was quite a nice day. Number two, it is rather a small car. Children, you have to complete the homework on the basis of the topic explained by me. And your homework is revise numbers and distributive determiners from the book or video and based on the understanding of the topic, do exercises mentioned in the book PC Rinse Grammar as. Page number 15, exercise number 3. Extra exercise number 1. This exercise, it is not in your book, it is given by me. Since you are not having your PC Rens grammar book, so here in this video I have mentioned your homework in detail. You must note it down on an A4 size sheet and after that make a folder of your grammar exercises. I am simply reading the questions. You must too note it down on an A4 size sheet and solve the exercises on the basis of your understanding. Exercise number 3 is Complete the sentences with determiners. Exercise 1 is not in your book. It is extra exercise and it is given by me. Fill in the blanks with correct determiners given in the bracket. So, at last, I would like to say that do your homework in neat and clean handwriting. This is the end of the lecture. Thank you 
and have a nice day